the last page I want to create is a contact me page. So we'll go back to uh, the dashboard. Pages, add new. And I'll just put get in touch. And I'm just going to put uh, phone number and email so they can reach out, you know, to uh, hire me as their photographer or whatever it may be. And I actually want these to stand out more, so I want them to be a little bit bigger, uh, not just regular uh, paragraph size. So if I click on toolbar toggle, it shows me a few more options here in the editor. And I'm going to highlight this and change it to a heading 5. And then let's just hit uh, let's hit preview first, actually. And so here we are. We can see the phone number and the email. But in addition, I want to add a contact form so that they could use that if they uh, want to. So I'll just hit save draft. And then I'll go to plugins, add new. And so we can just add a plugin that will make it very easy for us to create uh, a nice little contact form. And so the contact form, is, the plugin for the contact form is called very simple contact form. Obviously, it's very simple and it works very well. Install now. Activate plugin. And so this is the contact form. It says use short code contact right here to display form on any page or, or use the widget. Um, and so basically, we have to just paste this, this contact within the brackets. Uh, within any page and it will display our contact form for us. So I'm just going to copy that. Let's go back to pages. You can see this is a draft. It's not published yet. We'll click on it to edit. So right under the uh, phone number and email, I'm just going to paste that contact. And this is pretty much alerting the plugin saying, hey, put that contact form here on this part of the page. So let's hit publish. And we'll hit view page. And there we go. We have the phone number, email, and then this nice little contact form. Very easy, obviously. And then uh, get in touch is here on the left. And by default, it will send, when someone fills this out, it will send this information to the email you used when you first installed WordPress. And uh, you can actually just change that by going to users and then click on user and you can change the email here so this is the email that will uh, receive uh, any information that people fill out in that contact form and uh, just keep in mind that every once in a while this uh, email that they fill out in the contact form will go to your spam folder so if you're testing it out and it's you're not seeing the the information sent to you check your spam folder it might be there